guys, and welcome back to Winfrey Fitness. Get my flex on. Oh yeah. Now, real talk, guys. This is a medium shirt. It's 2017. It's time to be real. I wore a medium shirt. Why? Because it will hug the arms, make them look bigger than what they are. If I wore a large shirt, they wouldn't be hugging like this. That's just some uh, some insight on people that's going through Instagram, looking at people, you know, taking these pictures with these good lightings and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Not saying my arms ain't kind of swole, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of illusions that people use to make themselves look better. And also, you know, people are only going to show you their best. So, let's get right into it, guys. q and A. I I should have been had this video up. But uh, not going to get into all that. Just know I didn't get the video up exactly when I wanted to. But we're about to go ahead and start this now. Uh, but before I start, check them out. Shout out to uh, Chris Jones out there at Pump Chasers. You know what I'm saying? With the snapback. I believe they still have these in stock. And uh, these are actually the first original Winfrey Fitness shirts. Oh, and it's not actually made like that. Uh, long story short, we went with a different company than what we at mess with right now. And uh, when we put these in the washer, they actually got kind of scratched up. But I actually like them. If you guys like this look, you know, maybe we might come out with a shirt like this. Comment below and say, uh, come out with that scratchy look. So uh, let me go right ahead and get into these questions and answer them for you guys. Go ahead and start with the first one. Okay. I know everybody is wondering, so go ahead and let, do the honors of asking, what's your supplement stack and why? Really simple, guys. Uh, I just use protein powder and occasionally pre-workout. Lately, I haven't been using much pre-workout. The reason why is because I was the type of person that would take my pre-workout every single day before every single workout, and I'll even take it if I'm just going to do cardio. So what happens is when you take pre-workout, um, over time, if you keep on taking it, your body gets immune to it, and it's not going to work as effectively as it should. So you should take breaks uh, from time to time from taking pre-workout. And then uh, I do, like I said, take my protein powder right now. I take MTS Whey. Uh, occasionally, I actually ran out, but I take the GA GAF by Pump Chasers. And then lately, I've been messing with Dynatize. Love Dynatize. I wish it was a little bit cheaper than what it is, but the taste of it is absolutely amazing. I mess with the birthday cake and the Dream Circle. I get it from Vitamin Shop. And uh, also, another thing that I take is my BCAs, uh, branched chain amino acids. I usually take either pump chasers or lately I've been messing around with BPIs, BCAs. They're a little bit more expensive, but they have different flavors and I like what they have to offer. So I do take that as well. So that's pretty much it. Um, I am cutting right now. So I am throwing in some fat burners. I'm taking green tea extract and I'm taking uh, L-carnitine. So that's my stack right now. And uh, yeah. Next question, get down here. <laughs> What's your number and do you like big girls? Well, I'm not giving out my number. And, uh, well, actually, I think my number's up on my, uh, my what? It's bad! Is my number up on the, uh... No, he likes me. <laughs> That's what hey, I got to but, say. Hey, hold up, hold up. Right? There ain't nothing wrong with the big girls. I'm a married man. And I told my wife this. I said, I had a dream that she gained how much weight? She was a little bit on the pudgy side. And I told her I did not mind. So, future reference, letting you know, when you gain that weight one day, I ain't going to be mad. Because I ain't afraid of a little bit of extra loving. That's all you had to say. I'm just saying, baby. Go get you some nachos. You know what I'm saying? I don't care. A lot of y'all out there scared of a woman with a little bit of extra meat. Man, you better stop playing. Shoot, sure, girl, go ahead and get some nachos. Shoot, sure, I still love on you the same. I think that's only white guys. What's that? Like that's the skinny girls? girls? I did hear a white dude say he didn't like big butts. And I was like... Dang. I looked at him like... What? <laughs> Who <laughs> says that? Okay, let me get on. Let me get on to the next question. Okay. Do you follow... A workout plan or do you just kind of go in the gym and freestyle it? Uh, actually, kind of a mixture of both. I actually, I kind of, I know what muscle group I'm hitting, of course. And I know, like, for example, for chest. I know when I'm going in to do a chest workout, I need to hit my upper chest, uh, hit the outer part of my chest, the lower part of my chest, and try to get some nice squeeze action and try to hit that middle part. 
Now, do I plan it all out and say, I'm going to hit this first, hit that first? Kind of yes and no. Like, as far as, like, I'll hit, like, my incline movements first just because a little bit harder. Um, you know, doing all the other movements and then trying to press up like this. Uh, but sometimes the incline uh, barbell or the incline hammer strength or dumbbells, it might be taken, and I'm not just going to sit around and wait, so I'll do something else. Uh, but with answering that question, I do know what I'm hitting is just that it may change uh, just depending on uh, if a machine's taken or not. But yeah, I kind of have it planned out for the week, like I know which days I'm hitting what. So hope that answers that question. Here's the next one. What editing software do you use? I actually use Adobe Premiere right now. Uh, before that, I was using uh, just whatever my uh, laptop had on there. But as of right now, I'm using Adobe Premiere. I like it a lot. It's pretty awesome where I can add in like slow motion type stuff. And it has a lot more than what the, the laptop uh, was giving me from just the basic stuff. Next question. Will you start selling ball caps? Because I need a hat to go with my t-shirt. Uh, that would be awesome. I think if a lot of people uh, want some caps, then uh, yeah, I can definitely do that. I can look into that a lot more. I mean, I rock fitted caps all the time, so why not, you know, get some made? So that might be uh, in the works. Okay, next question. Are you ready for the expo in March? I was born ready for the expo in March. Damn, I hit my finger. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I'm absolutely excited for that. I'm ready for it. Uh, I'm actually trying to get in better shape so when I walk around, I can be looking all clean and swole. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready for it right now. I can't wait. It's awesome because like for somebody like me that does YouTube and is very active on social media when it comes to fitness, it gives me an opportunity to meet other people that are into the same thing. When you get to enter a room where everybody is into the same thing, like if a lot of people are into anime and you go to one of those Comic Cons, that's an awesome experience. It's the same way with me uh, when all those people there are into the same thing. You have a lot to talk about and things like that. And if any of you are going to the Arnold Classic, I will be there. If you see me, I'll definitely be rocking some Winfrey Fitness stuff. Maybe, I don't know. Winfrey Fitness, I could be wearing this Pump Chasers hat, whatever. Don't be shy. Come say hi to me. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? If we can, let's get a lift then. Next question. Can I brawl with you? If that means let's go get something to eat, uh, yeah, I'm down. But I don't fight. Because I can't fight. I just look like I can. Or do, do I look like I can? Do I? Somebody uh, saw me on the street. I saw a picture of me going like this. You think I can fight just by looking at me? Or maybe I can't fight. Maybe I'm just messing with y'all. But, you know, maybe you could just figure that out on your own. No, I can't fight. Next question. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I like this one. Did you start your channel more because you wanted to train backslash teach people online or because you wanted to entertain? And they said, I can't say both. So if I had to choose one, I would have to definitely say... What's up guys, I'm back. Sorry, my camera died. I uh, forgot to charge it, but that'll be a lesson to you if you are trying to shoot a video. Make sure your camera is all the way charged. But back to what I was saying, I would definitely, uh, I created the YouTube channel to definitely teach and be able to train. I, I mean, I'm a personal trainer, I'm certified, I don't train in any gyms, but you know, if I was to do that, that's awesome, but I can only reach so many people. Having a YouTube channel allows me to be able to reach people, give advice and tips, uh, to so many people uh, all over that's not around me. So, hope that answers that question. Move on to the next one. Thanks uh, for the video with the Kodiak Power Cakes. I tried them and loved them. What kind of different ways do you eat them? Uh, so far, I've only made the, pa the pancakes. And um, I guess you can make like muffins with them and stuff like that. But I've only done it with the pancakes. But I guess you could say different ways that I eat them. I did a video on this. But I put like peanut butter on them. Uh, I didn't do a video on this one, but I actually put peanut butter and jelly on it. And that's a game changer. Please try that if you love peanut butter and jelly and pancakes. Mix them together. You will not be, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, disappointed at all. So try that. Peanut butter and jelly on your pancakes. All right. If fitness was not your passion, what would your passion be? <sighs> that's a hard one. Um, but I would probably definitely have to say 
probably would have been like a, a firefighter or possibly uh, try to pursue being like a nurse or something like that. And the reason why is because I do have a passion for helping people. And, uh, you know, I do have a passion, passion for fitness. I love working out and it just kind of goes hand in hand. But if I wasn't doing this, like personal training and into fitness, I would definitely most likely probably be a firefighter because that way I'd be able to still be able to like save people's lives. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, that's what I would do. You know what I'm saying? A little firefighter, a uh, little calendar action. You know what I'm saying? $12.99 plus tax. <laughs> okay. Do you watch Netflix? And if so, what are you watching right now? Yes, I do watch Netflix, uh, but I'm actually not watching anything on Netflix right now. So uh, I'm going to kind of turn this question around. I'm actually watching like uh, Hulu, if you guys don't know what that is. It's kind of like Netflix, but for like TV shows. Uh, so if you miss your TV shows that come on throughout the day or whatever, and you know shows go by, you can catch up on them by uh, getting Hulu. And right now I'm watching this show. We just started it. It's called The Big Three. It's absolutely amazing. I only watched three episodes, and I'm like into it heavy. If you haven't started watching that, start watching it now. Next question. Are you playing love games with me? Love games? Do you love me? Are you playing your love games with me? I assure you that I am not. <laughs> oh man, okay. When should you mini cut? Is there a minimum time to be on a boat before you consider it? Uh, there's so many ways I guess you can answer this question, but what I would do uh, when it comes to uh, when should you mini cut, uh, you know, that's on based off of personal preference, but so like you got something coming up like springtime or you got summer vacation or something like that. Or like for me, I did like a mini cut before the holidays because I knew I was going to gain uh, some weight throughout, you know, the holiday seasons. So why not do a mini cut, get pretty lean. So if I do gain that weight, I can pretty much come back to where I'm at. So that's just one example. Uh, but, you know, they said, um, let's see, is there a minimum time to bulk before consider it? Um, bulking, in my opinion, if I'm answering this correctly, uh, based off your question, uh, as far as like how long to bulk, if, yeah, I would say, um, you know, I think it depends on person to person. I think you should definitely take a bulk very slow. Some people do a whole bunch of, you know, dirty eating and put on a whole bunch of unnecessary fat. I think you should only go to where you're not going over about 15 uh, percent body fat. That's just me because, you know, if you're going up to 20 to 25 percent body fat, it's going to be it's going to take you a long time, a lot longer to cut that body fat than if you was just to go up to about the highest at like 15 percent, something like that, or maybe a little bit higher. That's just that's just me. Um, I've been heavy for a long time, so I couldn't imagine uh, doing a bulk uh, and having a cut, you know, for a long time. But when it comes to, you know, when should you mini cut or how long should you go on a bulk, honestly, I think that's just personal preference. And, uh, yeah. Next question. <laughs> what can you do to get out of a weight loss plateau? Um, to get out of a weight loss, weight loss plateau, the first thing I would definitely do is kick up the intensity of what I'm doing, especially if you're only working out like three times a week and you're stuck at a plateau, do four to five days a week. You know, if you're only doing one day of cardio, add in an extra day, maybe two days of cardio. Uh, if your diet, you know, you're counting macronutrients, your carbs, proteins, and fats, play around with those and drop some carbs and drop some fats. Um, you know, if you're doing just steady state, steady pace cardio, Throw in some HIIT cardio, some high intensity interval training. That would definitely uh, change things up. It worked for me. Uh, I helped a lot of other people by giving them that advice. You know, a lot of people hit those walls and they can't get past them. But the biggest thing is changing your, your intensity, the way you're training, how hard you're training, uh, changing the diet and messing around with the cardio, adding more of that type of stuff in there. So let's go to the next one. What them boys come to the Clemson? <laughs> They got their butt whooped. That's what them boys gonna do. They got whooped. But hey, I think that's all the questions, guys. Uh, appreciate you guys commenting below, putting those uh, questions in there. Uh, I'm definitely gonna continue to do more Q and A's. So uh, yeah, just you know, thanks for all the support. Uh, I can't wait for what 2017 has to offer and what I'm gonna be able to bring you guys as far as content and all that good stuff. 
Uh, the last video I did was the Santa video. You guys like that a lot. So we're going to be pushing more for videos like that, you know, getting reactions out of people and just kind of having fun with this YouTube channel. Anybody can do a fitness channel, but you know, it, you got, I, I feel like with me, I want to show my personality a lot more because I'm really actually a silly dude. And uh, I mean, you guys see the serious posts like on Instagram and stuff like that. But like, if you go over to my Facebook, you'll see me post like a lot of silly stuff or whatever. But like, that's me. I'm just straight up stupid. Um, but I'm going to go ahead, guys, and get up out of here. Appreciate all the love and support. And uh, remember to take it one day at a time.